Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful day, here in the end times on this spectacularly gorgeous 75 degree Saturday afternoon, September 11th, 2021, 9-11. Uh, 2021. I know there was something I was supposed to be talking about today, but I just can't remember what it is. So instead of what I'm doing with this gorgeous day is I'm driving around and around and around. Uh, good God, how many miles have I put on this truck? So anyway, I, I'm just making this video just, just to make a fucking note to myself for the last fucking time, for the last fucking time, uh, if you are a your basic clueless fucking moron homeowner like I am, uh, and you hire somebody to do a job, especially plumbing, plumbing or electrical, and you don't know anything about plumbing or electrical, do not. This is a note to myself and anybody else. Do not try to uh, go out and buy parts for the man doing the job. This is the number one cardinal rule of how to A, fuck up a job, and, and B, drive yourself uh, in, into uh, suicide while running up a uh, $10,000 gas bill. So, uh, d just, I really wish I had been fucking uh, videotaping. So, uh, I, I won't, uh, th the man doing this plumbing job, I, I have 100% confidence in him. Doing the, the, the task here is to put a washing machine in a garage. Okay, uh, I have owned 22 houses. I have probably had uh, washers and dryers put in, I would say, eight houses uh, where I hire a plumber, point to a, a garage or whatever, and say, I need a washer and dryer put in this garage. Uh, you know, this is how I used to handle this, and then the uh, plumber would uh, put the fucking washing machine and the dryer in the garage and send me a bill for a hundred thousand fucking dollars to put in a one hundred dollar used uh, machine. So anyway, uh, my my plumber, as I say, who I have complete uh, faith in doing this job sends me off on this wild fucking goose chase. On, uh, so I asked, uh, I asked this man, I said, what you need to do, we need to go on to Home Depot or Lowe's, we need to find the exact item, the exact item you are describing. Before I walk out of this house, I need the item number and the SKU number. And so we go on to both of the things today. Well, we don't find the fucking item anywhere that he's looking for. It doesn't exist. And so he just told me, he goes, Ham on, you just got to go to the fucking store. You know what you're looking for now. Just describe it. He goes, you get a damn close idea. We're one step away. We're 99% of the way. You need to go to the fucking Home Depot and Lowe's and they will have this item. He goes, I have seen the empty box at Lowe's with this item, although I never saw it on the Lowe's uh, website. So against my own better advice, I had no item number. I had no SKU number from Home Depot or Lowe's. So I take off and you know where the fucking story is going. That nobody at fucking Home Depot or Lowe's had any fucking clue what my buddy was talking about. Absolutely no clue. So anyway, I'm, I'm at Home Depot with the dude, you know, working in the plumbing department of Home Depot. And uh, he, so 
we're sitting there and, and just, uh, you know, we're just getting interested in the challenge of does this mythical thing exist? And uh, so he had never heard of it. So a plumber, a professional plumber who, who spends his entire life installing washing machines and garages, he's just overhearing, so he gets into the thing. And he asked me, you know, what are you trying to do? I said, I am trying to install a washing machine into a garage where right now there is no water line. And, uh, and so then, uh, so he's, he's asking me about the job. And, and, and I said, I am not the one doing the job. And, and, and he looks at me and kind of rolls his eyes and, and, and tells me, he goes, you do know the number one, the number one rule of plumbing jobs. And I, uh, and I said, I think I know it, but uh, tell me what it is. He says the number one rule of doing a plumbing job is do not send a non-plumber to go get your parts. Uh, I, you know, it, it was it, it was like me sending Sancho Panza to uh, Sancho Panza to go, uh, y y you know, uh, buy a, 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 a go buy my fucking groceries, you, you know. But anyway, this very nice guy who I'm sure charges a hell of a lot uh, of money to do this, so. We go, and so he did build this thing for me, which, of course, was getting more and more and more expensive. So, so if I understand this right, what I was trying to find was a compression valve, a, a one-half inch reduced down to 3 8 inch compression shutoff valve, but instead of having one 3 8 extension, he did not need one, he did not need two, but needed three. He needed, a th and, and everyone was asking me, what is the third 3 8 outlet from the valve. What is that possibly going to? I said, guys, I have no idea. And uh, so I, I've got the guy from Home Depot uh, plumbing department. I have a professional plumber. They have never in their entire lives, between the two of them, heard of a one-half inch to three eighths inch, so I told the so I said, okay, guys, uh, just work with me. I said, so we've, we've, we found one with two, okay, and and, uh, and and so the plumber said, well, fine, if you want a fucking third one, tee off, uh, tee off here. So we look around and we find the fitting. So we've now built this thing, okay. So I now have the one half inch to three eighths inch uh, thing. And uh, so everything was there. So I said, oh yeah, I need to get a washing machine hose to, uh, you know, to come out of the back of the washing machine. Uh, so that's fine. That took 30 seconds. We got the washing machine hose and I said, oh shit. I said, there's one more thing we need to do. And, and the guy, you could tell that he is ready to, I mean, the, the real plumber had already run off. So I'm back with the guy from Home Depot and uh, I said, uh, and he said, what's that? And I said, well, we need to be able to connect the washer, washing machine hose to the water supply. And so the water supply, remember at this point, was a 3 8 inch compression outlet with one type of, of pipe thread on it, while the 
washer hose was a three quarter inch so we had to reduce down from a three quarter inch hose threading down to a uh, down to a three eighths inch compression uh, fitting and uh, the uh, dude was just uh, he, he had he had had a fuck enough and uh, he, he said brother uh, he, he goes there is no fucking way he goes by the time you try to connect this uh, this thing uh, this this hose to the connector he goes you're gonna need to buy 15 fucking different pieces you're gonna spend more on the washer supply hose than you spent on the fucking washer and dryer uh, trying to connect this three quarter inch down to the three eighths inch with two different pipe threads so he sends me to Lowe's needless to say I had the same story at Lowe's uh, the same fucking story at Lowe's this guy sends me to a professional plumbing supply place so I go way the fuck out uh, to a professional plumbing supply place. All they do is sell fucking plumbing supplies. You know, that's what they do. I go in there and I start my story and, and the look the guy gave me was absolutely precious. He go like, he, he thought that this was candid camera. Uh, he has been a plumber for 40 fucking years. He has never in his entire life, ever, ever, seen or seen the reason for a three outlet compression shutoff valve. He goes, I have no clue why anybody, and again, uh, he, you know, what is the goal here? And he did agree that the number one rule of plumbing, and this works both ways. Okay, if you are a plumber, if you're doing a plumbing job, especially something that is a little bit unorthodox, like anything in the Hamlet Hilton is going to be, you do not send somebody else out to get your parts. You don't fucking do it. And if you are a clueless fucking moron such as myself, and you have somebody telling you to go to Home Depot and pick up this part, your response is, I will go to Home Depot when you can show me exactly the part I need. I need the item number and the SKU number of every single part you need to do this job. And if the plumber cannot present the item number and the SKU number, go on fucking line, which is what the guy at, uh, at Lowe's advice, uh, he said, tell your buddy to go on to Lowe's.com. He goes, there is a big fucking difference between Lowe's.com and the individual stores. Go on to fucking Lowe's.com. You make your shopping list. You order every motherfucking thing you need. Every fucking thing you need uh, to do this job. Order it online. They will deliver it to your fucking house. So take a wild guess what we're going to do. I am done with it. I'm fucking done with going to get plumbing and electrical parts. I, I can pretty much trust myself to go get lumber and building supplies, but plumbing and electrical parts, uh, y y you know... Uh, I, I'm, I'm getting ready to hit 62 fucking years old. I've owned 22 houses. I have no fucking idea. If someone offered me 100,000 fucking dollars, a 62-year-old man who has owned 22 houses, if someone said, Hambone, I will pay you $100,000 to go install a washing machine out in your garage... I would say, 
Just keep your hundred thousand fucking dollars. I ha I would have no more clue uh, how to how to put a fucking washing machine in, in the garage at the Hambone Hilton than uh, Sancho Panza uh, would know how to. Uh, I, I don't know, give a chipmunk a uh, fucking frontal lobotomy. But I do know how to go shopping <coughs> for trees. But it wasn't all a... It wasn't all uh, a lost cause because I did get a weeping willow tree at Home Depot. Uh, trying to find a fucking weeping willow tree. I'm now looking for a... a, a uh, a maple tree. Jesus, for the, the cheapest maple tree, I, I have not been able to. I call all of these, uh, all of these goddamn uh, tree nurseries all around Ithaca looking for a fucking weeping willow tree. I found one for $250. I go to fucking Home Depot. They got a half dozen of these beautiful uh, eight foot tall weeping willow trees for 40 bucks. But now I'm trying to find an autumn blaze maple. I have found one for $400, one for $200. The cheapest uh, autumn blaze maple tree I have found is $169. Not quite ready to spend $169 on a fucking maple tree in New York. But I got my weeping willow. So I am off on a wild goose chase for a uh, an autumn blaze maple tree. If anybody knows where I can find an autumn blaze maple tree for under $100. And I do not buy trees online. This is right up there, right up there with do not send a clueless fucking moron out to get your plumbing parts. Uh, do not buy a tree online. There's a million fucking autumn blaze maple trees online. Anywhere from $10 to $50. And uh, anybody who would buy a tree online, I don't know, is the same person who would buy a little dog online or the same person uh, who would uh, send a clueless fucking moron uh, out to get a plumbing part, but I'm off to look for a maple tree. Wish me luck. Bye, guys.